Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Crosscode. In the previous episode, we continued our way through Fajro Temple with the power of cold. Facing off against a giant flaming moth. And I know what some of you are thinking. Hey, this isn't Dragon Age Origins, and you're right, it's not, as I announced earlier. Reason being is that, well, I just didn't feel like recording Dragon Age Origins this week. Plus, there's also the fact that I really haven't planned out where I'm going to go after the Return to Ostagar DLC. So, I'm going to take this week to record some CrossCode, because I also I really love CrossCode. And I'm going to use whatever time I have off to try and plan out what I'm going to do once we finish the Return to Ostagar DLC. And I know I said in the last episode that I would be heading straight for Rookie Harbor to meet up with our party. But... I came to the realization that we still have to get the last of the treasure chests in Fajro Temple. Just five more. Shouldn't be too difficult, especially considering the majority of them are key chests in these temples. So, before we get into that though, let, we, we, have, we may as well read the lore here. And then I will jump cut around the temple, finding the treasure chests and trying to get them. Uh, like I mentioned in the first episode of the temple, uh, the guide that I've been using hasn't been made for Fajro Temple, so yeah. Anyways, the starry sky. At first, the world was dark. Hence, Diorbis and Enel created the first stun to spread light. Yet at night, when the sun was hidden, the world was as dark as ever. And Nell wanted to place many more suns close by, creating a world of constant brightness. Yet this world was monotonous, lacking dusk, dawn, and the coolness of the night. The two gods then had an idea. They created millions upon millions of new suns, far, far away, in all directions. Thanks to Anel and Diorbis, F Diorbis's efforts, we can today enjoy the night with a beautiful starry sky. Not only are the stars beautiful, Diorbis placed them in particular to stir our curiosity for other worlds out there. The creations of Anel. Anel is the creator of ever-burning flames. She made the sun with blinding light and filled the ground deep beneath our feet with a molten stone. Her creations spread warmth, yet consume life at the same time. It all started when Diorbis... The ethereal god of creation was born into the emptiness of the void. After pondering for eons in solitude, his desire for company gave birth to the gods of shape. Enel is one of these gods, the god of the triangle, the creator of ever-burning flames. After Enel created millions of suns, she craved for a challenge. She wanted to create the largest, most majestic sun imaginable. Thus, she started adding her eternal flame adding more and more as the sun grew further and further. Until finally, the sun had too much fire and couldn't hold it any longer. What followed was a most spectacular and colorful explosion. Even today, we rarely witness these colorful explosions in the night sky as a testament of Enel's boredom. Okay then, now I'm going to head back into the temple and try and track down the chests we have yet to find. See you guys when I find the first one. Okay, found the first of the chests on the ground floor in the fire and sand. What you need to do is that after you've already cleared and unlocked a shortcut up there, you need to head in from there, hit that switch so that the pillars are in this position, and then you can just walk across and grab the chest. For three jelly extracts. That one is taken care of, and I will see you guys at the next chest. Okay then, next chest is in the right chamber one. We know how to get this one, I just had trouble getting it. Hmm. Okay, freeze this one, then we freeze those ones. That should give us just enough time to reach it. Or five chef sandwiches. Okay then, that's that taken care of, and I will see you guys at the next chest. Okay then, on the second floor in the right chamber one, or rather first floor, 
if I'm right about this, which I hope I am, we simply need to hit the bubble over here, and then we need to hit it with some fire. Just gotta get it into the right position to pull that off. That might be able to do it. Boom! Just gotta have some careful timing on that. And get four butter silk. Okay then, see you guys at the next chest. Okay then, we are at the next chest in the bottom chamber on the third floor. I'm fairly certain I know what I have to do to get this one, it's just a matter of, you know, getting it. Good boy. This one might be a bit of a pain. And can I make that jump? Oh, well, less of a pain than I thought it would be. Well, that gets us two magma residue. Okay, then. Now I will see you guys at the next chest, which should be, according to the map, yep, the last one. For those of you who uh, might not have noticed it yet, there is a counter in the bottom left corner for the chest. Not trying to be a jerk in saying that, I'm just... you never know. Anyway, see you at the next and last chest. Okay then, I found the last room where the chest is in, and I'm gonna be honest, it's a little cheeky the way they hit it. If you see right here, there are some lines that normally indicate circuits for this place. What you have to do is do the exact same puzzle we did before, but with fire instead of ice. And yes, I know, it's heat and cold. You're just gonna have to get used to me going back and forth between the two. Just gotta reset this puzzle. Or rather, solve the puzzle. Because the map led me to here, but I couldn't find out where it was, so I had to use a video guide for this. Ta-da! And you need the white key for it. We get a dented crown. Hmm. So he gives you balance. Okay, that's good. I lose the XP trainer. And for attack, but I do gain some... Hey. But I do gain some nice stat boosts. Resistances. You know what? I'll take it for now, because I'm not really grinding for XP. Because that is mighty nice. Okay then, well with that, we have collected every treasure chest in Fajro Temple. So, let's head to Rookie Harbor and meet up with our friends. And yeah, I know there are quests that we can do, but... Well, as we saw after the m Temple Mine, well... <laughs> yeah... Now, where could they be? Probably in the marketplace, and I'm just wasting time by running through here. Ah, there they are. Leah, Cherie! Hi! Hello, Leah. It's good to see you again. Oui, you almost made me worried. Now, I really wonder what happened to with you. I guess I should start poking you with questions now. Come on, Emily. I'm sure that would be bothersome. Oui, oui. I was joking. Anyway, I wanted to show you something. This way. Look up there. They finally opened the north of Rookie Harbor. Yes, and you can find even more traders up there. Also, the stores now offer better equipment since we've beaten Fajro Temple. We oui, and you better make sure to upgrade. Oh, that's something I'm definitely going to have to take care of at some point. Because here comes the big news. We'll be going on a raid! How? We, oui, I can hardly believe myself. They found a raid event where players of our level can participate. That means we'll be fighting together with Lucas, Lin, and the others. Mm. Excuse me. 
Well, kind of. There will be two tracks with two teams running in parallel. Details. Anyway, the raid is happening tomorrow. You showed up just in time. Um, wait. You still didn't collect that shade, right? Drat, you're right! It's one of the prerequisites to join the raid. You first need to collect the green seed shade. You'll find it at Autumn's Fall. That's to the north of Rookie Harbor. And just take the exit in Rookie Harbor East. That's right. Just look for the glowing bird statue. You can't miss it. Anyway, Citron and I already did the quest, but I'm fine doing it again with you if you want. Same for me. Do you want us to join? Hell yeah, I do. To God, let's go then. Ah, reunited. Oh wow, they really extended our SP gauge. Well, while we're here and the northern areas have opened up, we may as well take care of some treasure chest collecting. And a little bit of exploring while we're at it. Plus, it's gonna be a while before we actually do that quest. Because, well... Having beaten Fajro Temple, we now have access to some new quests. Okay, let's see. In order to get this one... Ah, there we go. Whoop. Get on the plant, get on there, get on there, jump across. la -di da It should be noted you do need the white key for this. But that gets us four golden bars. And may as well talk to these two. Rising Superstar. Delicious snack. Every Kawaii gun jumper? Uh, hmm. Defense down, offense up. Bunch of stuff. Uh, not bad. A little bit uh, expensive. Let's see, a bunch of steel and silver stuff. Eh. I didn't get anything, but let's see what my party has. Not bad. Not bad. Though I'm fairly certain that's probably what they had before. I honestly have no idea. Anyways, let's see. Not bad stuff, but I don't think it's really anything I'll be picking up. Shin kickers. Uh, I lose balance, but I gain brawl and a lot of stat boosts. Though I'm willing to bet a lot of this stuff is something I need to get from Autumn's Fall. Oh well. I'll talk to them all just to see what I can get and add them to the trader menu. Because that's a good idea to have for later on. And, ah, there's the other building that I'm willing to bet we'll find the other chest in, but we need to find a way around to it. So you gotta find a way to get up there. Okay. So how do we go about that? Oh, there we go. What's this? Home of Talatu Lips? Why do I feel like I should know that name? Because it, it sounds vaguely familiar. Anyways, that wasn't the way we needed to go. Come on. Let's see. Anything from you? No? No? Weird. Okay, here we go. And before I forget and accidentally drop down, let's smash these crates to get them out of our way. Now then, in here, I guess we just head around, and we're probably going to want to grab this, because I get the feeling this is one of those plants. Yep, Sprout of Truth. And in here, we have two precious metals. I still can't get this chest, because it's a golden lock, but I believe we can get this one. 
But first things first, I want to head into the HQ because I know for a fact that because we've beaten the Vajro Temple, new side quests have opened up for us. Not really seeing anything new from these merchants, but hey. Yet, yeah, as you can see, new quests. Which means we are... Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be a while before we get anything. Training you seek is it? Rookie Harbor, Info Hub Dojo. No idea where that is. Points of Power, Fall Divers HQ, Rookie Harbor Guard, New Metal, okay, Bull on Fire, Bull on Fire is Burning with Sickness, okay. Raising the stakes. Ooh. Alright, not really sure where that dojo is. Fall Divers, Shop, Roots of Autumn, Dusty Storage. The Gut Punch. I'm willing to bet that this dojo is in here, which I've never been in. By Jove, this is your big chance, Philomore. All you need to is to find the right... Hi. Ah, it is you again. I say, you truly find the most opportune times to accost me. I have another task for you, and this time the main headquarters are involved. Truly, a huge opportunity. So please, lend me your assistance. Talk to the guard and traitors not... not her at the alley quarters. Oh, what a relief to hear that from one as reliable as yourself. Now, the road to success is... Shall be that ha, shall be smoothly paid. In any case, I cannot tell you much about the mission itself. My task was simply to acquire an able helper. So please go to the very north of the alley quarters and enter the trader's notter. Then go upstairs and talk to the high board. I will announce your arrival and task so you can enter. And please give the board my warmest of regards. They will surely appreciate it. Must be this area that we didn't go into. But I'm going to pick up all the quests first. Well, actually, what I'm first going to do is collect that treasure chest. Hoping I could. The uh, reason I didn't go after it before is not because we needed a key, but because an area that we needed to start in was blocked off. Yep, there it is. So, we head up here. Cross this way. Down to here. Head down, head across... And then down to here. Which gets us some refined metal. I'm willing to bet we probably could have done this even earlier, but eh. Ah, a seeker. What a rare sight here. Hi. I like this spot. Always calms me down. And I can watch people. Okay then, now with that, we're going to head around to the main HQs and grab some quests. I never get tired of the music in this game. Greetings, Seeker. I'm glad to see you. Our land is in peril once again. Proud Bovine has fallen victim to a vile sickness and is now experiencing a burning pain. It annihilated its whole herd in fiery anguish before starting fires all over Autumn's Fall. Will you help us bring peace to this tortured being? Yeah, why not? You are a true hero. I know how revolting the thought of putting down a living being must be to you. Yeah, sure. Thanks to its burning trail, it became clear that the bovine has hidden itself in a cave on the secluded path. You can reach that location, that, that location by traveling to the northeast of Autumn's Fall. Though beware, you might need to accept a challenge from the track before you can enter this part of the land. Make haste, young seeker. Before the flames of rage can ignite more precious lives. Bye. Okay, looks like all these are taking place in Autumn's Rise. Well, for the most part. Anyways, on to the Fall Divers. Hi. Welcome, Seeker. It's been a while. Seems like you've been re like you've really been around now, eh? Your experience will come in handy. We made progress with that device you found back then. Yep, it was quite a bit of busy work, but it gave us some leads for future expeditions. How about it? We could really use the help of a seeker who knows their stuff. Sure, why not? 
Yeah, great. Now we can finally use our new toys with you on board. Can't tell you how much about it myself, but we got one of our tech specialists, Degert, waiting for you. I meet him at the village remains in Autumn's Fall, and he will explain everything. That's right, at the border of Autumn's Rise, in case you forgot. Alright then, good luck with that, and give Degert my regards. Bye! Okay, now on to the... Guardsman HQ. Hi! Ah, Seeker. Found your way back to humble Rookie Harbor, eh? About time, frankly. The whole weapon smuggling business didn't do us the courtesy of just stopping. In fact, it has only gotten worse. You got some free time again to make a contribution to a peaceful society? Sure. Good to see you didn't forget your roots, stopping criminals like the old days. Problem is, they're not delivering their shipments to our harbor the usual way, where we can find and catch them. Instead, the weapons are sent over the ocean on their own to who knows what secret transfer point. Basically, we have to catch and destroy them midway on their route from Rhombus Square. We got something prepared. Go to Beginner's Ark and talk to Captain Turbine south of the teleporter. He will give you a more detailed briefing and send you in the right direction. Now get going, Seeker. Bye! Okay, now to check out that one location that we have never been to before in Rookie Harbor, because I'm willing to bet that's where we need to go for that dojo. Huh. Okay, guess not. Can't go upstairs. Where else have I not been? Well, I guess it's the entire back area here, so... May as well try that? Ooh. Okay, then. Not bad. Oh, wait, that's just a tattered satchel we already have. Prism pouch! Item booster, huh? Let's see, increases the effect of healing items and duration of buff items. Ooh, that could be nice. And I do have what I need for it. Hmm, good thing I didn't eat all the chili dogs during that fight. And chef sandwiches. Let's see. Prickly bracer, bright bracer. And not bad. The defense and the focus is nice. Status Rush. Increases the speed of inflicting a status condition and its effect. And Avenger. Restores SP on guard based on the power of the attack. Double that for a perfect guard. I do need to practice with that, but... I... I like my Giga Drill and my Rapier Carrot too much. Okay, you can trade for some other trade stuff here. That's it? Okay. Well, here's that HQ. I'm sorry, ma'am, but this area is restricted to the staff. I see you have business with the board. In that case, please go upstairs and have a nice day. Bye! Ah, there he is. Hi! Ah, oh, good evening, Seeker. We have been expecting you. Mr. Nomsworth spoke very highly of your abilities. Let us hope his trust is not misplaced. As you hopefully know, Rookie Harbor is a central settlement with strong connections all over Shadoon. There is barely a commodity that cannot be found on our, high, our mighty venues of capitalism. Though we still lack the capacity to acquire high-quality metal without relying on the other settlements. It will be your most urgent task to remedy this. I hope we can still count on your assistance. Excellent. Then go to Bergen Village and visit their traders of metalworks. We have already negotiated a satisfying arrangement. You will fulfill our end of the bargain. Good. Now go and carry out your task. Bye! You know what? Let me really quick take a look at that prism pouch again. See what I'm gaining and losing from it. I gain and lose nothing. 
well, let me rephrase. I lose nothing and I gain everything, so... Well, except for a ton of credits, but... Yeah, I can get more. Screw it. Yeah. One or more items you need are currently equipped. Unequip and proceed with trade? Yes. Yeah, that took away a lot of my healing items, but... Yeah, so be it. A neatly stitched belt featuring multiple pouches in different colors. Neat. Okay, then. Still no clue on where this dojo is supposed to be. Because the only other place we haven't gone to is... Alley Quarters. Unless it's something I've just completely missed. Which, you know, knowing me could very well be the case. Ugh. This is just going to be a quest collection episode, isn't it? Oh, well. It is what it is. Okay, decided to meet with Talatu Lips. Howdy, gal. Gal, did you come by to check how business is going? Aw, oh, how nice of you. It's going great. Those steaks really hit the bullseye of people's taste buds here. But I talked to our valued customer and got some ideas to improve my precious meat even more. How about it, gal? You feeling it in you to help me out again? Yeah, why not? Old wood, honey, and apples from the east. Yeehaw! I knew I could count on you, my dear. Just like last time, it's all about the ingredients. I've done some research on the precious plants of the East. Once again, I'd like to try some new wood in combination with what we already got. So please bring me some old wood from the jungle in the Northeast. I also want to experiment a bit with marinating the meat before grilling it. For that, I would love to get my hands on some honey and a bunch of sweet apples. You should find all of that in Autumn's Fall in the East of the, or that jungle I mentioned. As for the meat, I still got a lot of that here to experiment. Is everything else clear? Alright then, give it your all. Bye! Okay then, now, I, I did go back to the HQ, and it said it was in the Info Hub Dojo, but I didn't see anyone with an exclamation mark over their head, so... I'm not 100% sure. I'll take a look, again. Yeah, I'm not seeing anyone, so... Unless they're further down. Yeah? I think this is an instanced room. Must be something good going on here, no? Ah, here he is. Yeah, I feel like an idiot. How many people are going to be screaming in the comments at me about that? A new seeker in my dojo. Hmm. Hmm. Great power within you, I sense. Ready to explore the depths of your abilities you are. Yeah, Yoda, let's get this over with. Training VRP, training VPI, and we get some adept gloves. Okay. How difficult can it be? Good, yes, yes. Speak to me to begin, you must. Already expecting you, I am. Ready to train you, are you? Yes. Hmm. Once begun, endure until the course is finished, you must. Wisely made, your decision must be. Yes. A good choice to open to the art of balls. Open your mind must be. Tested in this training, your precision and perception will be. Mm. Floating you must be for this, yes? Worry not. Trust in your sensei you must. Now, begin your training as. First, your basic understanding we will test, yes. Hit all the targets you must. That can you do. That you can do, can you not? I think I'm going to switch to mouse and keyboard for this. Just for a little bit better accuracy. And seeing as I don't have to move around at the same time, well... Hmm. Good, good, yes. Mm. Now again, quickly. Hit all targets in 10 seconds, you missed. Wait, what? Good, good, yes. Now, your understanding of ricochet, show it to me. Hit all targets using ricochets, you must. Is there any way I can quit out of this? Yeah, I'm going to cancel training. This is not worth it. 
Ugh. Okay, well, that ended up eating up the rest of our time here, which is unfortunate. But so be it. Uh, I'm probably going to go around in between episodes and see if there are any other new quests to pick up in the other villages. I hope not. Just because. So... Uh, I'm just going to end it off here. If you guys like what you see, please leave a like. Subscribe for future content. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for when I upload. Or to hit the straw polling to vote for our next Let's Play, which... It's currently at 17 votes in total. Six for Hard West, five for Shadowrun Dragonfall Director's Cut, three for Prey 2017, and three for Metro Last Light. So make sure to get your votes in. And please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.